Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, that's weird. It didn't load everything, but, uh, hi, it's me, I'm Zen, and, uh, we're going to be playing a game called Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. Now, um, uh, from, now, what I know about this game is, it's a music game. I think it's, uh, promoting somebody's, uh, I, I guess the artist might be called Super Brothers. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on a moment. Hey, what's up, Hey, what's up, Ray? How you doing? Thanks for dropping by. So again, yeah, we are gonna be playing. Super Brothers. Uh, it's a music game, not in a rhythm game kind of sense. It's more of a. Uh, it's more of a how do you say? I it, it it it's more it's less of a game and more like an experience from what I can tell, right? So get ready for that. This is just this is just going to be all chill. It's gonna be, it's either all chill or mostly chill. And the audio is coming out of my speakers. There we go. Hmm. Now, uh, let me try. So I think, with the ex with the exception for this game. Oh no! It's still coming out of my speakers. No, scuff. Of course. Can't be, can't be a stream without a little bit of scuff. Here we go. Hopefully this works now. There we go, okay. So, I'm gonna make an exception for this game. And I'm gonna, you know. Yeah. Let me just make sure that my volume settings are full. Okay, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Volume 100%. Can I do go more than 100%? I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. I just ate and I want to work out and do VR already. But uh, I guess I'm not doing it. <laughs> but you know, I, I, so I'm waiting for you know my stomach to settle before I start working out, right? Because that's the healthy thing to do. You don't work out right after eating. And yeah, so I'm like, I guess I'll just use this time to uh, listen to to play this game or experience this experience. Uh, something you may uh, notice compared to the other streams, if you were in the other streams, or um, is I find my volume to be a little too low, which doesn't make sense to me uh, here. But in my in my past streams, basically the volume was a little low so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to uh, speak e either speak up but I've already uh, adjusted my settings so that I sound a little louder and since this is a music game I'm gonna make the game pretty loud compared to when I lowered it before and so something I know about the starting screen is if I click on the starting screen oh I guess for this one particular game we can we can show the cursor um, uh, loud transparency, no. Uh, capture cursor, okay. So I have, so my cursor became the old style black cursor. Something I noticed is I can do this. I can hold it. And I can, I can turn it like that. I, <laughs> so I can do that. Oh, so it's playing normally when I move it around backwards and even spin it faster. Okay, it doesn't get faster. I mean, I guess, yeah. But that's that's pretty cool. I can hold it and it will stop. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's continue. Let's actually play. Let's see what this game's about. Who are you?
Am I supposed to interact with you now? Ooh. Okay, I thought it just kept getting quieter and quieter, but... Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I was about to tap... How about you tap these two little sylvan sprites so I can get a feel for your stereo surround system. Yeah, mm-hmm. Pretty good. Since our prior experiment in 2011, social networks have proven to be catastrophic for society. This time, we encourage isolation and regretful reflection. You'll find these first SSNS EP session to be fairly straightforward. It typically only requires 15 to 30 minutes to complete. Ready to begin? Press play and let's go. So I guess, yeah. Look. Listen. Tip tap. Okay, I can use WASD, it moves the camera around. Who are you? Okay. Oh! Ooh, I have- I have sword. Okay. I use- Nope, not the actual arrow keys. That does nothing. How do I move? So, looks like there's just this to interact with. What's this screen? Wait, no. Oh, oh. What are these stars? A lot of things are left unexplained. What do I do exactly? What do I mean? No. Oh, water. Oh, okay. I've been clicking on the dog. Or sheep? Is that a sheep or a dog? Sheep dog. Oh, the dog. It's a dog. Ah, from the war ravaged steppes of Scythia, we met a dark haired girl in a sunlit meadow. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, she was known as Girl. She seemed nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the meadow, there was an immovable iron gate blocking Cavernous Cave. We spied a few worthless sheep lazing around in the meadow. Is it supposed to be more Viking? We found a few worthless sheep. <laughs> Alright, dog. Show me where to go, dog. Zoom? Okay, I've already zoomed up enough. What's over here? Inside the hut, we spied a little round something or other above the hearth. Sitting down. Give me 
puts it down over here. No, that's a table. Inside the hut, Parthless quietly crackling with familiar warmth. Morning. Huh? The wood chopping woodsman chopped wood. To the mountain folk, the Caucasus he was known as Logfella, and he seemed cool. Logfella knew all about our woeful air, and he agreed to lead us up the old road. Still, we definitely get the feeling that he wasn't super jazzed about this. He said he would lead, so I'm like waiting for him, I guess. Alright, log fella. Oh. Aww. Scythia, Sumeria, Assyria, and Persia, these are all kingdoms of men. Inyi Tao is the kingdom of the cloud. Alright, alright, I'm coming in. Don't worry. Hey. Hey, indeed. Uh huh. Okay. Getting music now, boys. Let's try the lock bridge to the old roads to the green black board on the blocky looking stones. Uh.
Precise stood a stone carved of the glyph of a skyward sword beneath the colors of a rainbow. The Scythians load the rainbows. At the perilous precipice was a huge rock, hewn in sculpture of a familiar looking head with mouth agape. Despite the solitary grave at the edge of a perilous precipice, I've been wondering what was up with that. <laughs> You're not, you don't really have much to say either, uh, huh, that's cool, uh, we can, uh, why don't we just, why don't we just enjoy the quiet? Just enjoy the quiet, yeah sure dude, enjoy mm -hmm. the quiet. The woodsman known as Logfella, has chosen to chill out beneath a stone shelter near the perilous precipice. Logfella seemed to know all about the loathsome rainbow and a nearby glyph depicted in the Skyward Sword. And yet, Logfella offered zero help about what to do next, which kind of rubbed us the wrong way if we were being totally honest. I mean, could do this. Right, unsheath. That's what I thought. What happened? Oh. Oh. Yo. He's happy. Come on, Logfella. We had bridged a chasm, and we felt super smart. But you told Logfella we saw a burdensome book of sinister sorcery known as the Megatome. The Megatome lurked somewhere in the haunted darkness beyond the perilous precipice beneath Mingi Tall. We resolved to go get the Megatome, then get out alive. I swear, no. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Tap and hold to move. Oh. Thanks for telling me how to move in the middle of the game. I've been double clicking this whole time. I love the sound of water, dude. Like, there's a lot of people who are afraid of the ocean, right? I really love, like, the sounds of waves and the sounds of, like, a waterfall. I guess it... I, I, I think that's universal, isn't it? Like, loving the sound of, like, flowing water. Ah, it feels so nice. Well, she doesn't like it. Alright. A stride a rickety bridge to the grim pole, creepily adorned with an altered skull, antlered skull. Okay. Trespass. Yes, I will trespass, thank you very much. Oh! The rock cut entrance to a mountain temple we spied, a pictographic representation of the Trigon Trifecta. The Trigon Trifecta. That's definitely it. I thought I thought tap and hold to move. There we go. Hello. Oh, 
subterranean corridor, we spied an ominous statue, but we didn't worry too much about it. Ah, yes, foreshadowing! same height on the left and right? You know what? I'm a completionist. Let's go to the smaller doors first. Let's just, let's just, just lead out the other end. Skulls. Lucky skulls. To be precise. It's over here. Is that actually a way? Oh, it is actually a way. Okay. clasped in two bone hands, and we felt our sword stir in its sheath. We spied a pictographic representation of the Trigon Trifecta in the darkness beneath the key tall. Okay. We spied an antlered skull floating in the darkness beneath the key tall. To like tap and hold pretty far away from where your character is in order to trigger that. Oh, okay, we just appeared there again. Wait, what? I guess it's all the same. I just go up there. I'm not sure. Let's try the sword. Sword was tingling. Okay, that didn't do anything. Can we go all the way to the left? No, we can't. There has to be a reason why we can go left and right. So we went one to the right. What did that change? Nothing. Big dumb. Got the megaton. Uh oh. Is that bad? Probably bad, isn't it? Uh -oh. Yo! Gotta run! Yo, he can go straight down. Run! Run, you fool! Ooh. 
Pull! Run! Okay, same thing. Ooh. Here he is again. Fight! Is there a pacifist run to this game? What's up, dude? Hey. Hey. How are you doing? Oh ho. Here we go, boys. Is a boss. We had retrieved the megaton, and Logfellow was 100% ready to move it. Move it. To the safety of his lodgings. He sense a gathering, a thunderstorm, and yet a little song began in our heart. Come on, log fella. Off we go! Ah, uh, sounds great. Ah, uh, 
ASMR is nice, but nothing beats the sound of rain and thunder, dude. Oh, hello. Spectre who slumbered in the darkness beneath the inky tall nights. Consequently, a sinister thunderstorm looms the lovely people who live in the stone hut are a little heartbroken. Upshot is that you got the burdensome book known as the Megatome. In our next session, we'll discuss its strange purpose. Our research shows that prolonged exposure to the mythopoetic psycho psychocosmology of SS and SEP can have adverse side effects. Now that you've completed the session, how about we take a little break? I'll be right here when you're ready for session two. Okay. That looks pretty cool in my TV. So is that the game? 17%? What is this 17%? Ah, uh, hey. How's it going? Wanna jam? Good. Let's rock. Game type project made in Toronto. Get touch your stay in the Jim Grothy. I have a feeling that we don't know enough about this game. There's a lot more than meets the eye. Okay, so that's the credits, right? Okay. Seventeen percent. Does that mean that <sighs> there's probably multiple endings to this, isn't there? Should we try one more route? Let's. I. I. I'm a little curious. I'm a little curious. Let's do a pacifist run. Let's do. Let, let's do a quick pacifist run. Oh. Hi. Sword and sorcery, EB2. Oh, okay, so it's not a pacifist run. Okay. It's. It's lovely. It's lovely to see you again. Are you ready to begin session 2 of SSNS EP? So, where were we? Alright, oh, now I remember. You got a burdensome book known as the Megatone. You awoke a deathless specter who still lurks in the darkness between Ming Yita. What a creep, am I right? <laughs> It's a time of woe. A sinister thunderstorm has clouded the skies. The lovely people who live in the hut are miserable. Silencing the storm will require some familiarity with psionics, cryptozoology, and miracles. One, a sorcerer's touch will unseal the megatome, revealing unspoken thoughts of living creatures or other esoteric material. Strange sylvan sprites, sources of sorcery, slumber in ponds, woods, and meadows, seek their subtle sonorous spews. A sorcerer who can locate and summon and tame the cosmic geometry of the Golden Dragon will possess the ability to work miracles. Confused? Excellent. Keep calm, carry on. Yo, okay. Uh -huh. Do we make 
our way back? I guess so, we don't have the key to the place, so we have no choice but to go back. Ooh, okay, there it is. Again, the girl had seen the sonorous spumes of sylvan sprites who slumbered in the woods nearby. She wondered if maybe three sylvan sprites could help lift the storm. She acted to investigate the sonorous spew bubbling up out of the deep water pond outside the hut. The girl spoke of a sprite in a meadow nearby, and yet another sprite in a nest box that was home to three rain soaked song birds. The girl told us to seek the sonorous spoons of these three sylvan sprites and sent them skyward with the song of sorcery. Okay. Oh, hi! It's time to learn the song of sorcery, a consciousness expansion technique that reveals some mystical musical dimension. Keep calm and follow my directions to summon the Selvan Sprite that softly slumbers in the cold waters of deep water pond. sorcery and summoned the slumbering sylvan sprite from the cool waters of a deep water pond. So strange. Okay. So there's one in the meadow, right? Let's go over there. Oh, hi. Very nicely done. You've learned the song of sorcery, and now the unfathomable power of the Megatome is yours. The Megatome intercepts linguistic thought transmissions, and it contains everything you'll need to complete your woeful errand. I'm thinking about something right at this moment. Why not open the Megatome and look and look for me to find out what's on my mind? Look for a white triangle on top right. Tap it and equip the Megatome to reveal what is hidden. Okay. Dark moon in six days. A Scythian, so this is the Megatome. It is, uh, it is, is it absorbing linguistic thought transmissions? Am I reading my thoughts as I'm thinking them? Are my thoughts arranged chronologically in the order I thought them? This must be what I was thinking about a few seconds ago. Wait, why am I referring to myself in the first person? I thought our story was told in second person. With a ceaseless storm overhead, we have learned to sing a song of sorcery and summon a slumbering sylvan sprite. We just woke a sylvan sprite from a deep water pond, fringed with lilies, beside a stone hut. We are not sure what that means. As you can see, the Megaton gathers and collects linguistic thought transmissions. Scroll down to see what I was thinking before. To sing a song of sorcery at any time, tap and hold the Scythian for a moment or two and observe the gathering sorcery aura. Once you've begun to sing a song of sorcery, tap and hold the sorcery aura, swipe to look around. To stop a song of sorcery at any time, simply double-click the sorcery aura that's known as a Scythian. 
A song of sorcery can be understood as psionics technique as it allows you to perceive a reality from the one within you know. Expanded consciousness and untapped limitless potential of the mind is what we super brothers refer to as sorcery. As an NSA, even the sound it produced the transcendent experience, it is merely intended to free the nervous system of ordinary patterns. The third aspect of the setting is a culture of prevailing notions of reality and normalcy. We will avoid this discussion for now. <laughs> uh, setting also includes a social aspect. We have found the social support that networks of play a significantly positive role. Setting includes the comfort, security, and warmth of the room, the outdoor environment where experience will occur. We have found that a relaxed, curious individual is more likely to have a pleasant experience with SS and SEP. Set refers to the mental state and personality structure you brought to your experience, thoughts, moods, and air expectations. Let's talk about the set and setting for a positive experience with the highly psychoactive Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, how else am I going to entertain myself while, like, you know, while reading all of that? I mean, I get it. It's a dog fella. Girl. Uh, right? Okay. Cool. I guess let's just keep going with the thing of jiggers over there. Okay, so Yeah, my nose is itchy today. So there's one oh there it is. Okay. You don't have to point it out to me. I can see... <laughs> we got a mushroom! Time to mushroom! Oh! I have abs now! Sorcery. I'm like thinking, am I supposed to? Am I supposed to follow a rhythm? Okay. I don't know why I couldn't select all the sheep in one line, but okay. What's up? Alright. I just we 
just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from the rich earth of a meadow containing four pairs of worthless sheep. Four pairs? I guess it is four pairs of worthless sheep. I guess. What's the next part? You spied an oddly shaped stick overlooking the meadow. Okay. By the solidly built water well with a board with a broad wooden roof. He spied a pile of chopped fryer wood. No big deal. Okay. Yes, that's where we're supposed to go. that oh okay sorcery there's a bird oh no come back come back Say something about two songbirds. Okay. Do I literally just drag them over? them when they're at the nest? Okay. So we wait for that bird. Funny how a plus symbol with particular colors is now suddenly a bird. Right? Imagination, dude. I've already done this, so what am I supposed to do now? A slumbering sylvan sprite from a curious nest box surrounding three rain soaked songbirds. Ooh. Follow. Wait. Could we possibly read the read the book? What was that? What was that? I've seen the Scythians sing a song of sorcery and send three sylvan sprites skyward. I wonder if they will help soothe the song. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> Very insightful, dog fella. Guess there's nowhere else to go. It does seem like there's this rain is letting up. Oh, oh. 
Oh, no, 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 don't go inside there, don't go inside. Ah. Hey, dog. So, girl. Girl stood sheltered from the rain beneath the broad wooden roof of the well. She had felt the comfort of the hearth in the hut because apparently Logfella was freaking out about something or other. It feels like I should he, he should have a casual voice, I think. Uh, she should have a casual voice, I think. Morning. Morning. A woeful woodsman known as Logfella was totally freaking out about something. Apparently Logfella had lost a key to a locked stone to a, the locked door in the stone wall that blocked the old road to Minitaw. We were like grown not another fetch quest, am I right? Logfella told us he'd been sitting right there by the fire when he'd fallen into a deep sleep. Logfella said he thought he lost the key in the twilight realm of dreams. We heard about the strange dreams of the dark haired mountain folk of the Caucasus, and this made perfect sense to us. Logfella invited us to warm our boots by the fire and dream along with him. I wish I was a little inebriated. Okay. Dear. Sword and sorcery. Okay. okay. Realm of dreams, I guess. That's where we are. Dream. Oh, yay. Yo, this this bear chillin'. This bear chillin'. Observe. Okay. I'll observe the bear. A deer. Hi, deer. Oh no, deer ran away. Mushroom. Mushy, mushy. You know it. You know. What's this? I sure hope Dreamwalk and Scythian can find my lost key. I lost in the sandy shore of a place in Lake. Oh, nuts. Where's my key gone? I'm so upset and so ashamed now. I'm totally freaking out. But oh, whoa. I wish it wasn't raining outside. I wish my boots weren't so wet. I wish I could go back to my wood chopping. See? Let's talk about what? I thought, huh? We think wakefulness is. Oh, okay. Seek a warm hearth, allow sleep, and, and come to discover the threshold of liminality. The threshold of liminality is a space between wakefulness and dreams where directed thought is impossible. We think of wakefulness in the mythopathetic of psychocosmology as dreams as separate states. However, they interpolate in curious ways. How about you go sit beside the hearth in the hut and cross the middle threshold to find one fellow's key? Okay. Ooh, what's up, Banjo Man? Yo! Grove, we met a mysterious fellow hanging out beside the crackling fire. Okay. Okay. 
What's up, dude? No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. I'm chill, I'm chill. Wanna share some mushrooms with me, dude? I guess. Got the key. Oh, hello. Is it in the chair? Is this how I wake up? Ooh. Okay, okay. Woodsman was super relieved to see that we had managed to achieve this lost key from the Twilight Realm of Dreams. The woodsman known as Logfellow wondered how he got so smart, and he asked him about our woeful errand. We told the woodsman about how he had come of age and steps alongside our fearless Scythian sisters and brothers. We told Logfellow why we wandered here in the mountain wilderness and how we were guided by the finger of an all-knowing god. We told Logfellow about what we suspected the esoteric markings inside the megatome might signify. We had such a hunch that we needed to summon a few more sylvan sprites to soothe the storm. In the hushed whisper, we spoke of our intention to locate and tame a manifestation of cosmic geometry known as the Gold Trigon. It was 100% clear that the woodsman known as Logfella had stopped paying attention. <laughs> we figured we could just hang out to the key and go for a walk on the old road beyond the stone wall. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry if you can hear like a lot of wind right now. It's uh, it's a windy day. Yeah, you can definitely hear that. That's not gonna sound great on the recording. Ah, uh, if there's anything I can do to prevent that, I already have the filters on and everything. But oh well. Oh, what's up, girl? What's up, girl? Let me make my way down there and talk to you. Because I don't have necks, it just looks like beards to me. We met the dark haired girl standing in the rain soaked side path. She had heard the subtle sonorous spumes of the sylvan sprites from beyond the stone wall on the old road to Mingi Ta. She spoke of the towering tree trunks on either side of the mighty river. She spoke of faint rainbows at the edge of the perilous precipice. And then she grew fearful and told us to consult the megatone if we ever became lost or confused. That's pretty good advice. Thanks, girl. Dog. He has come for revenge. Let's try not killing him. Like, if if the fight thing appears, we'll just be like, no. Fight. No. Sorcerer. Aw, okay, I guess- Oh no! It's kinda of violent now that- it's... It was... 
supposed to do here <laughs> okay I'm tapping on the hole Try tapping on this thing because I already have. Or does it just do that wherever I, wherever I click? Oh, the tree trunk. Okay. Understand. How come I can click on this and then I can't click on that? It's like I have to do this and click on this. What? So I can click on those four. What? Ah! Come on, game. Why do you do this to me, game? What? Okay. I don't understand. Like, they they don't give you a particular. There, there, there's no clue of like a pattern that you're supposed to follow. You're just expected to figure it out. There, there's no pattern to it. There, there's no clues. So it's just frustrating when... Yeah, but I guess...
there was no rain a while ago, and now we have rain, which is like, is it, wait, that's the opposite of what we're trying to do. Does anyone know how to get rid of a nose itch? Despite a collection of graves and a thicket to the side of the old road, we wonder what was up with that. Ominous music. Okay. More mushrooms. Mushy, mushy, mushroom. Pick up the mushroom. And do we have the maximum amount of mushrooms we can hold? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I guess we have the maximum amount of mushrooms we can hold. Let's make sure about that. Let's eat a mushroom. And now we can pick it up. Okay, so we can only have three mushrooms at once, right? Sorry, really been getting me down. Makes me wish that video games existed in whatever this is supposed to be. <laughs> I sure hope the Scythian is on the case of the whole Selma Sprite thing. Quite like a lot of her woeful errand. She started talking about the steps in the finger of God. I must have nodded off at some point during the Scythian's super epic story. I have a really low Torah lunch for lore. I'm really cool with the Scythian hanging onto the key if she means going to zone to summer the storm. One or two more Sylvan sprites sent skyward will soothe the ceaseless storm, and then it will be a time of miracles. I've seen the Scythian sing a song of sorcery. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hidden, hidden steps. What's going on down here? On a side path leading away from the old road was a stone carved with a series of previously indecipherable lunar pictograms. The pictograms referred to a secret place located nearby where the moods of the moon would be altered. The moon grotto? Locked door hidden in the forest the underbrush below the old road that leads up to Mindy Tall. Okay. Onwards and upwards. I thought this would have a lot more music. Instead, it's a lot more ambient, right? So it's like. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like one of those experiences that seem to. That might be a lot better when you're high. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, we can only have three mushrooms on us at a time. Here's a mushroom. Here's a mushy, mushy, mushroom. I'll eat a bunch of mushrooms. Possibly. Oh, is it the trees again? Uh, rub? I'm rubbing. I'm... supposed to rub hi red how you doing thanks for stopping by I'm just playing a chill game or at least I'm trying to uh, while uh, you know to settle down my stomach before I start working out that's good that's good I saw you streaming last night I was tired though 
<laughs> I was I just got out of work. What's this game? It is It's less of a game and more of an experience. It's uh it, I got this game free on Epic Games. Uh and I thought it would be like some pixelated RPG and that's pretty cool. But it turns out to be more of a sort of adventure game. And it's more focused on the music that it's trying to like quote unquote uh, advertise I guess so it's just it's just really chill right uh yeah tip tap to stop no not tip tap to stop I need to rub I need to rub so I can get the slumbering sonorous sprite I yeah I already read that the Scythians low rainbows I was supposed to stream today but my mic decided to die ah uh, that's not good so I guess we can't do that. The art style. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, let me. Okay, we're doing the sorcery. Oh, rainbow. Okay. Clouds? Rub the rainbow. They rub the rainbow more. It's getting louder. Did we do it? Did that work? Or do we need to rub the rainbow more? Okay. What else is there to do? Are we just gonna keep rubbing the rainbow? I think that's what we're supposed to do. Do we stop? It's not raining anymore. There has to be something. There seems to be something shining in the water down there. Let's do that again. Okay. Done the rainbow. Trees don't do anything, do they? Art oh, there's another rainbow. Let's go! Double rainbow! Rub the rainbow! Nice. Oh, it's a sonora sprite. Woke a slumbering sylvan sprite between two loathsome rainbows by the side of a perilous precipice. The rain has let up, hasn't it? Whoa! The sheep in the meadow have taken fright! I wonder what's going on over there. Could it be the gold trigon? The rain has started to ease, and the sky seems to be brightening. Is it a time of miracles? I sure hope so. I love miracles. <laughs> this whole storm has really been getting me down. It's been so gloomy. Everything has been totally mental ever since the Scythians showed up. You know, whenever I feel like I need to gather my strength, I just sit down beside this here hearth to warm my boots. I'm mean, getting in the case of the heebie-jeebies. Something is definitely happening. Is the storm starting to lift? Ooh, okay. Dark moon in six days. Alright. I guess there's nothing else to do. We can't lift our sword in order to open the thing anymore. Yeah. So I guess the only thing left to do is just go. There's no more storm. And they said that the gold trigon is next to the sheep. So let's make our way to the sheep. Do we get any cool music while we're walking down the road? Eh? Come on. Game about music? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm glad to see you. Good to see you, Red. Uh, I've been thinking about... There's a couple of streams that I've been like, thinking about doing. Uh, a couple people 
uh, dropped by last night. Well, la- last night for me. And, you know, they mentioned, like, they're interested in doing D&D. So I was like, maybe I could hold D&D one, uh, one shot sometime. You think you'd like that? I was also thinking of like games I could possibly speedrun, and then like D and D, yeah. Do you play? I don't know much about it. Yeah, the viewer, uh, yeah, the people also said that they're interested in D and D, but you know they don't know too much about it. I wanted to play a D and D based game. I, I, in particular, Solasta. I have played Solasta before, but I don't have it. I don't. I didn't buy it, so I'm kind of like. And I don't mind buying it again because they recently came up with a druid update, and I love druids. <laughs> I love nature-based magic, dude. It's just so cool. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I guess it's miracle time? Do we get the golden trigon? Oh. Oh. He's crying. What am I supposed to do here? Okay. Doesn't D and D take a lot of time, and it's in like groups? Yeah, I mean, we can have a. Sm we, I mean, you can play D and D in small groups. You can even play D and D solo if you want, right? And uh, hmm. you can even play D and D solo if you wanted. So I'm kind of like, yeah, <laughs> it's just one of those things where you, you you could possibly do those, and then I'm just yeah, and you know, uh. I'm not the most experienced DM. I've only DM'd one game, and uh, it had a couple of sessions. Uh, we can also make it as long or as short as you want it to be, but typically, uh, the ideal length of a D&D game is about three to four hours. It can be shorter or longer depending on the availability of the players, right? Uh, so it's just one of those things. Um, yeah. Let me try doing sorcery here, if that's what's gonna help. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, this game really doesn't, like, tell you. It just... you just have to discover things, which I feel like, again, is another is another thing that makes it like this game is probably better when you're high. <laughs> uh, but you know, I'll, I'll appreciate it as it is for now. Okay. Oh, okay. What about those two? Possibly click on. Oh, what if? Oh, and they kissed. Yo, oh. okay. All right. Grab this golden trigon. Fight? Oh? I, can I run away from the fight? I have to fight it? Why am I fighting a golden trigon? I... I guess there's no other choice, huh? Fight! <laughs>
kind of game that would be a lot better when you're high. What is this? What's going on? Let me accept it. Oh! Okay, never mind. Oh, okay, do I have to attack him then? It is pretty surreal, isn't it? I think that's what this go what it's going for. Oh, it feels weird that it's out of rhythm. Bam. 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 Match the rhythm. Because the other one was in rhythm and this one wasn't. Okay. okay. Oh! Okay. Thanks for telling me to use the shield. What? What? Do I have to time the shield? No? Oh, I have been reduced to ashes. Oh, never mind. I'm alive. Okay. It's so confusing, isn't it? Let's see. So I see someone attempted to tame the gold trigon. I have a few things to tell you that you are useful. It's absolutely essential to touch and hold the shield button whenever you can in order to recover your lost strength. Touch and hold the shield button whenever you can in order to recover your lost strength. To tame the gold trigon, you must learn to survive three movements of its bizarre song using a mixture of attack and defense. Look to the heaven for some oblique insight for the workings of the miracle in the meadow and then behold the gold trigon. Are you feeling that peculiar vibe? It's time to it's a time of miracles. Sing on song of sorcery and look up to the looming angry birds. What's the song and sun is in alignment? Yeah, okay, so I've already done that, right? Okay, so something I wanted to try is uh does eating the mushroom heal you? It looks like it does. Okay, so mushrooms are healing items. As much as they're like rainbows and everything. Okay. Could I do some sorcery here? Sorcery. Looks like no. So I have to... I guess there's no other choice. I have to tame the golden trigon. By just doing its bidding, I guess? can't reach the mushroom without doing that, so okay, here we go. Let's do that again.
huh? Wait, I don't. I I I I I do not understand. Okay, let's eat a mushroom. Am I supposed to time it properly? The gold dragon's inscrutable, unguessable logic has claimed the souls of all who came before they lack tenacity and courage. Swing your sword and psionic projectile attacks with your sword and wait for opportunities to dodge any incoming beam attacks. You can dodge? I was not told that I could dodge. I can only block. Music is trippy, isn't it? Here we go. So, something I noticed is when I put my shield up a while ago, I had a sorcery circle around me. Right? So I'm like wondering if that has anything to do with anything. Let me consider my options here. Tap and holding on that doesn't do anything. Tap and right clicking doesn't do anything. Holding on the shield. I think maybe holding on the shield does give me a little bit of. Because whenever I put or hold the shield for a long amount of time, I can hear the like. The music stopping sound. Is there a control panel? Nope. There is absolutely none. The game is just like tap. Oh, I guess I could do that. Oh, I can press Z and X.
Oh, Trigon, we are so awesome. Oh, that's kind of trippy how when I press the play, when I press the continue, it just... There's a thing called, like, dynamic music, where, like, the music kind of, like, fits with what you're doing at the time. So it's like, even, it, it can smoothly transition from, like, something fast to something slow, depending on what you're doing. So, those are really cool. Bravo, you have located and subdued the cosmic geometry of the Golden Trigon. Miraculously, the sinister storm has lifted, and glorious sunlight has returned to the realm that's so totally awesome. These heroic deeds reflect well upon your perceptiveness, intuition, and perseverance. You have done exceedingly well so far. Note, you, should you choose to continue the SSS EP experiment, the affirmation qualities will be challenged and evaluated. In any case, let's take another little break, shall we? As always, I'll be right here whenever you're ready to begin session 3. And I think I'm going to stop it there because I do want to play a little bit of VR before I have to go outside. Uh, so, I'm going to just reset the stream in a little bit. But you can stick around because I'm just going to like set everything, to put everything together. So, I guess I'm 41 of the way through. So, I'm assuming... I'm going to assume that there are three more chapters, even though technically that... Is it? Yeah, it should be 20-20%, which then 41%. Yeah, actually, that makes sense. So, it used to be 17, now it's 41, so it's kind of like, okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, it's red, see here? Uh, over here in the settings, right? That's it. That's the settings. Resolution, full screen, volume, and clear data. And then we have Illuminati Deer Elk over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That, that, <laughs> that's it. It's it's just supposed to be an adventure game, an adventure music game. Also, something that's cool. I can stop the music just by doing that. I can also make it... I can also make it go backwards. It'll stop when I keep doing that, though. And then I can keep playing it if I push the other way. That took a lot of programming. It doesn't... What I noticed, it, it, it doesn't play in reverse when I put it in the back, right? Ah, screen one. See? Yeah, it doesn't play in reverse. <laughs> it, it, it's definitely like fun for like two minutes and then like you're like okay anyway uh yeah let's see i'm gonna just set up the thing here uh okay so i i don't like h3 vr but yeah the icon reminds me of zelda of course it does it's it's the trigon it's a triforce of course i i think i think there is a reference to that somewhere right uh i believe there is a reference to that somewhere let's see uh what should we title the h3 vr stream uh i already did shooty shooty bang bang uh let's see what could we name it is there any guns you'd like to see red i don't i mean like you know don't get me wrong i know like guns big scary i know all i know all of that but like you know is there any particular kind of gun you'd be interested in looking at? Because there are muskets in like H3 VR as well. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna set all of that up. I'm just uh, change. I'm just like thinking of what the title should be, right? Let's see. What's a good gun quote? Ooh. All I know are the guns in Fortnite. Oh, okay. Let's. Are there are there uh Fortnite quotes? Are 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 there voice lines in Fortnite? Are there Fortnite voice lines? Let's let's just look at these. 
uh, I'll use a Fortnite voice line as my. Okay, this girl's just humming. She's yawning. She's laughing. What? Oh, is she... Sp She's speaking in Native American? I guess we could do that. We could do Victory Royale. Wait. Okay. Okay, so I'm listening to all these character vo voice lines in Fortnite and I think this is referring to not the uh not the battle royale Fortnite but the uh the Fortnite before when it was a zombie game when it was a zombie like building game uh and it seems and it seems like they're not speaking in any particular language they're just like oh yeah 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 so I guess there's that uh, let's say anyway. Let's do number one. Let's do Victory Royale. Isn't 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 Victory Royale with an E? Victory Royale. Let's get. Okay. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. All right. I'm just going to be resetting the stream real quick. And then uh, probably I'll take five minutes to set up the VR. Uh, so uh, stick around. Go grab a snack. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Because I'm just going to reset the stream. Because I prefer doing that so that it's easier for me to like upload the videos and like stuff like that later on. All right. Anyway, stick around for a little bit. Oi. <laughs> 